Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Goodell, Henry Eyes, Stagger Knight, and RGP Andrews. Listening to the New Grounds podcast. Thank you all for joining us. I'm Goodell. I'm your anchor today. I'm so, I'm Henry. Eyes. I'm out. your fucking second anchor. <laughs> I'm Stagger Knight, the other one. I'm RG Pianums, and I'm also a cricket. Nice. Fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the next time somebody makes that joke, they're banned. <laughs> they're banned. <laughs> all right. So, uh, special thanks to everybody who's joining us in the uh, live audience today. We got a we got a good group here, and it should be. Should fun. we go we're through the be... list? No, no way. No we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, thanks to everyone who is here. Um, it's gonna be fun. We're trying some new stuff today, and uh, I'd like to encourage everybody to actively participate through all of these segments. Your your crew partic- or your audience participation will make this even more enjoyable. I assure you. We need we need your blood. To fuel we, this podcast. Absolutely. Please. Not just to fuel the podcast. I just, I need blood in general. To, yeah, he's a vampire. To fuel our it. big egos and our massive penises. That's right, Jay. Okay, Ryan. Okay. I, I mean, three, three out of four of us definitely have massive penises. So. <laughs> yes, Snag and I. Shake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So enough beating around the bush. It's time to uh, address the elephant in the room, shall we? Yes. Yes. Ryan is Australian. What? Oh, fuck. What? Well, no. I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about the Elon Musk jam, but uh, oh yes. This oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> this why Ryan development is simply too big. New grounds news. Listen, as of a, as an American, this jam is the future. All right, that's all I had to say. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, you, you would say that. <laughs> how uh, how does everybody in the audience feel about Elon Musk Jam before before we get into this? I feel like I gotta. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, most likely I'm not. Gonna not smells. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna participate in it. But if I were, I'd probably do something about Elon Musk in South Africa. I don't know. No one asked. Like an improv, <laughs> of, like an improv of Elon Musk just walking into a Nando's and just I don't know. I, I can't tell if everyone hates it or loves this idea, and that's the best it, part. <laughs> it's sort of... I, I, I never got why people would, uh, I guess, straight up hate uh, Elon Musk. I'd like to hear... I don't know, actually know much about him, full disclosure on that one. Hey. No, I remember when he stole, like, some anime art, and he just didn't stole, credit the artist. Listen to me, there's a million... <laughs> what? There's a million <laughs> anime profile pics. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, I meant, like, everyone... Kept on complaining, like, oh, Elon Musk stole anime art and didn't credit the artist. Is I, that I, real? Is no, that, yeah, that's I, real. I, that, that happened. I'm going to say, yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that's not why people hate him, but uh, Goodell. Yeah, Goodell, I know. Goodell, no, that is, that's like the big reason. Everybody's like, hey, <laughs> you remember that time in 2018 when Elon Musk posted a picture of an anime girl and didn't say who drew it? <laughs> Fuck that guy. Oh, heresy. He didn't did provide the oh. anime sauce? I mean, come on, bro. No, bro, bro. Much, 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 much the rest of the set. But all right, anyway. all right. So, so Newgrounds is hosting an Elon Musk animation jam. I dare to say that it's pretty much exclusively because a bunch of people donated a bunch of money to Newgrounds and said you have oh. to host an Elon You're Musk the, animation. Yeah, jam. the prize pool is just nuts. It's huge. Yeah. It's, it's, it's no, no, no. Yeah. Do you know what's Even funny? It's like no. Do you know what's funny? You look at like you know the previous summer jams where it was like a marathon. Yeah. And like the top prize was like three hundred bucks. Then you get the Elon Musk jam, and it's like seven hundred and fifty. Yeah. Wait, going last up. I checked, it was four twenty. <laughs> they oh. tried to abandon the joke in favor of more money. <laughs> oh. Uh, yep, yep. More third money. place is now four twenty. I was going to donate money just so that huge. It's yeah, so good. 
I, I shout out to jam. everyone who donated, by the way, to Jam. That's yeah. always awesome. Special Sorry, shout out. We're not to actually going to shout you out. We're not actually going to say your name, but shout out to whoever <laughs> did that. Wait, no. Yeah. I was going to say shout out to the Simp Squad Anonymous $230. <laughs> Simp Squad. That's what it says on the forum. I love it. <laughs> the Simp Squad. But yeah, shout out to the people Jesus. I'm not going to mention. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Scroll to my pants song. Squad. <laughs> Elon Musk as a topic for an animation jam seems like a poor choice to me, just because I feel like it's somewhat done to limiting. death. Yeah, well, yeah, and it's kind of. It, I feel like there's not low much that can be done with it aside from. Yeah, like, it's low. It's low hanging fruit. You know like I mean? it's yeah, easy exactly. to just make an Elon Musk joke or like talk about. Hey, look at a uh, look at his son. Look at he has a weird name. I bet he. <laughs> it's an alien language. People, people. <laughs> it's oh, like son. <laughs> Which makes it kind of exciting in that manner of fact, just because Newgrounders somehow find some yeah. fantastic way to make low-hanging fruit not even related to, like, the obvious joke. They do a really good job about that. Yeah, as much as I hate the concept, I, I, I'm intrigued to see, like, you know, what, you know, what they make. I think that's kind of, that's sort of what I'm feeling right now, too, is that I, I don't, agree with it as a topic i think it's kind of a poor choice that being said with so many people this excited for it and like throwing yeah. money at new grounds for it yeah I the prize yeah like i said the prize it. pool is like bigger than the summer jams which were like well, no, they, they didn't over, know yeah. about the fucking elon musk jam though they didn't know that yeah. uh they, they just they, they uh on twitter they were like hey uh give money towards our jam and then uh, <laughs> Man. Make, uh jam mm, freaking uh, said. I, I always wanted to come in with like 300 bucks or some shit and uh, be like, whoa, guys, mm. this is a jam. But it's like uh, third prize, 50, second prize, 100, and first prize, uh, 200. I don't know. It's not, it, 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 it not always, how math works. That is not three hundred dollars. <laughs> oh it's three hundred fifty dollars. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't make fun of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what? how this is gonna go. And the, and the thing is, like. The thing that kind of worries me about it is that obviously Elon Musk is a rather controversial figure. Um, yeah. And uh, so I said, I said in another Discord server that I'm in that's not related to Newgrounds at all. It's just some friends of mine that said something like, hey, so Newgrounds is doing an Elon Musk animation jam. Give me ideas. And the only response I got to that was one of my friends and he just said, ew. So, <laughs> so I kind of worry about like... You know, public. No, that's basically the same thing here. It's like I posted in like a, a little like yeah server that I'm in, and everyone was like, "Why?" And then, <laughs> and then everyone kept on responding by saying like, "I love new grounds. It's so awesome. I love the new ground. I love it when the grounds are brand new." <laughs> <laughs> Such a stupid <laughs> fucking joke, but it's always funny for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I think, but that was more about Newgrounds, like taking a jab at Newgrounds and not really, like, yeah. Elon Musk. Anything else to Straight say about Musk, so. Elon Cox. Elon Cox, all right. That's, think, that's one that's, of them. That's one that's of the like, admissions. I think that's, like, as low as we're going to get here, so. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. All right. Our guest over. That's all it. The Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> Come again. We're nearly nice. Everybody together. Alright, right, we're gonna move on. So, the next thing we're gonna do here. I said at the beginning that I, I want as much audience participation as possible, and here's here's the first like real opportunity for that. Good this boy. next segment is called RG Punchlines. And here's what God. we're gonna do. Oh, here's what we're gonna do. The rest of us, the, the three other hosts that are not Ryan, are going to give Ryan setups to jokes. And Ryan is going to have to come up with the punchline. Now, here's what I want the audience to do. If Ryan does right. well, I want you to encourage him. I want you to cheer him on. If Ryan <laughs> yeah, I doubt that's ever going to happen. <laughs> if Ryan says some dumb bullshit, I want you to throw tomatoes at him. I, Spit on him. I want you to boo Ryan if he doesn't do well, if he's not funny. The other thing is, if you feel like that you can come up with a better punchline than Ryan, go ahead and post it. And if they're good, mm. we'll reach them. By the end, I'm just gonna be smothered in tomatoes. Like, <laughs> okay, Ryan. Okay, whatever. Get your fetishes out of here. Anyway, should we start with the first uh, setup? Yeah, go for it. Whoever wants to go first, do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll go first. Ryan, as usual. 
why did the chicken cross the road? Why not? Fuck you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. To me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> How do you confuse an Australian? Is that the setup? <laughs> yeah, how do you confuse I was waiting for more. No, nah, Ryan's got to do more. Marmite. I what? What <laughs> what even is Marmite? <laughs> Fuck yeah, you, Ryan. Right. Tomatoes. This is a this is a terrible segment. Can we move on? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, right, no, right. I got, got, got like a hundred more. Yeah, right. This is not going to stop. This this is the entire podcast. <laughs> we'll end it after this one. Well, why? <laughs> why did Henry fall down the stairs? <laughs> He's a dumb bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. Fuck you, An American. <laughs> Ryan pushed me. An American, a German, and an Australian are being sent to a deserted island. They can each bring one item of their own choice. The American brings a gun. The German brings a keg of beer. What does the Australian bring? The horse. I Why? wanted to say the AIDS bit. <laughs> Wonder if he says a human right. <laughs> I was going to say they each bring a microphone and start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. What has eight legs and eight? Le- Wait, fuck! I fucked that up. What has not? Shit. What has? What has eight eyes and eight legs? You. Ryan. It's, it's Henry, true. Guys. Four of me. Four of me. All right. All right. <laughs> hey Ryan. <laughs> hey Ryan. Knock knock. Shut up. <laughs> hey Ryan. What's your favorite pizza? Just a question. Meat lovers? Not bad. All right, go on. Hey, Ryan, what's the difference between a podcaster and the Pope? He's given up. He broke. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> scared Nick <laughs> away. He's scared. What have we done? All right, I yeah. think we're good. What? What's next? Why did we do this in the first place? <laughs> Just to torture you a little bit, I'm sure. All right. Yeah, no we can move on. All right. <laughs> Well, there was Great no job, point to that. That was very Thanks. funny. You did a very good job. No. Look, as uh, Levi Ramirez NG said best, <laughs> if this isn't cut in the episode, I'll be leaving the server. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, Levi Ramirez NG. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if we don't cut this, I'm leaving the server. <laughs> I think we should just all leave the server. All right, out. we're kicking Tom Fulp out of the crew members' role. <laughs> okay. okay, let's move on. Let's uh, let's let's move on to this other this other idea we got here. Basically, what we're gonna do. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We've drilled the forums. We found a a few gems. Oh yes. This I'll is gonna be some uh, good content. <laughs> ask ngp segment <laughs> where we're gonna do an advice column we're gonna go through the forums we're gonna we're gonna find shit we're gonna respond to it I'm gonna, okay I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let henry take the take the reins on this guy for our first fucking forum post we have uh i push shrooms up my ass i got a reverse high oh. by static wait what okay now i'm interested <laughs> No, you have static, static skull two, my oh. static skull two, right? The revived Whoa. version. I mean, I can't say I blame him. Look how phallic those things are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> put them on face. <laughs> I put that is a reverse eye. Are you just so concentrated? You're fucking. You're just absolutely on it. I don't know. Mm. Everything is overly smoothed in Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, kind of Bro, I think reverse. you're kind of a smooth brained. <laughs> That's how you. That's how you kick addiction. Everything just becomes butter. And uh, I don't know. What else we got? What else we got, Henry? What else we got? Okay, let's check. Let's check. Let's check. I was checking through the first uh, fucking forum posts that got uh, locked ever, and I think this is the second ever forum post that got locked. Uh, here it is. Uh, you fuckers. <laughs> I can't read this you out as well because fuckers. Here, I'll read it. Thank you. <clears throat> this is uh, 
by The Max on February 28th, 2001. You fuckers! You fucking Actually, trying to crack Pico. It is all right cracking software from big companies, but trying to crack Pico is wrong. Tom is a great guy for starting <laughs> Newgrounds, and I really appreciate it. Although I've never met him. He worked hard on this website, and I hope you can see how much work he's put in. Advertising companies are becoming arses at the moment, so Tom has had to set up the Newgrounds charity thing, so he needs our support to keep the site running. If you think I'm wrong in saying this, send all hate mail to max at resistanceisfutile.co.uk. <laughs> If you British. Um, kept <laughs> up the good work. Oh yeah, kept um, up the good work. Uh, I like, wait, uh, is he, to, wait, is he uh, talking about Sir Tom or t- <laughs> no, 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 he's, he's talking about Thomas J. Paul. Here's here's Thomas what I have to J. say about Thomas this. Jefferson. He says that Tom is a great guy, but then says he's never met him. And you know what? If he's never met him, how does he know Tom's a great guy? I, I yeah, like, it's like uh, in the future. Adam like Bob I meet up with Tom. Henry, and he's actually chill. <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. I love so, okay, that. Also, no, wait, 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 wait. And also, what does cracked Pico mean? Who's trying to crack Pico? <laughs> yeah, it's right. free. Pico is free. You can I'm play it online. Wait, when was this? Pico. <laughs> this is in February 2001. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where can I torrent Pico? Where's the cracked <laughs> version? Actually, uh, I, have a, I have a relevant story here. Mm. You're all familiar oh. with WinRAR, I assume. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Winrar, if you don't know, for all of you who aren't in the loop here, <laughs> for anyone uh, who's Winrar, never heard of Winrar, <laughs> if you've never <laughs> heard of computers, here's what Winrar is: it's SMH, for, uh, seven it's zip for, users, for compressing and extracting files. Um, Winrar is not free, and it comes. With, it's like a 30 day trial that never expires. Right? Okay, we're on the same page. Okay, my girlfriend. Okay. When I was in high school, <laughs> but you had a girlfriend. Her, her version of Winrar expired, right, and that freaked her out. So she went on the Pirate Bay, no <laughs> way. and torrented a correct version of Winrar. Well, yeah, what's the punchline? Is that, is that it? it? <laughs> Fuck you, Ryan. I, mean, I, I guess she doesn't get that pop up every time. Totally worth it. <laughs> anyway, that, you know, that, that, that was Don't crack Winrar. Do crack Winrar. Sorry, Goodell. We're gonna have to throw the tomatoes at you. Don't crack Winrar. Do crack Pico. Wait, sorry, I've got that the other way. <laughs> do. Cr- All right, back to the forums. Here's Just what do I crack. Did. Here's what I did. I went to the general forum. I went to page eight thousand seven hundred and twenty, and I'm looking at a bunch of forum posts from two thousand seven. You know, when the internet was good. Uh, yeah. This one's for Henry. <laughs> Okay. Henry, here's the post. It's titled okay, it. You Lick Anime Wats or Faviorate. My Fav anime is Naruto. Best violent anime there is, at least that I know of. And before you respond, Henry, before you respond, I just want to read the top top reply to this. You must like spelling, huh? I just, anyway. I, Henry, you like lick anime. You're a weeb. Tell us I lick you anime. Know. I like licking Misato from Evangelion. I got a figurine of her. Don't worry about it. That's well, right. We're gonna we're gonna capture that. We're gonna save that. Put in a. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I <laughs> Levy Ramirez and G says get the jar. Listen to me. I got a jar. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Oh my god, no! Okay, get I the jar and it. put it with t- <laughs> like just squeeze a bunch of tomatoes in it. The real, the real thing that you meant to say was get the radiator. That's that's the part that's missing. <laughs> Someone just posts a facepalm. God damn it! <laughs> Who? Oh, okay. Uh, all right. All right. Do... Here's another one. Here's another one from 2007. Oh. This is the first time that we can actually do advice here. As a... oh, really? okay. All right. So January 27th, 2007. Why are humans afraid to die? If you threaten someone with a gun, he starts begging. 
crying, etc. And you can tell this is 2007 just because of yeah. how edgy everybody is. Why exactly. did they do that? Don't they know that if I pull the trigger, he wouldn't even notice? It would just end? So why are you humans afraid to die? And uh, is this, like... Is this written by an alien? Like, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> you humans, <laughs> you humans, you why are you so afraid to die? So, 2007 was, yeah, was emo still top, like a trend? Yeah, was yeah, this is like this is like during the time when everybody's like, I'm not emo, you're emo, anyways. Oh, so, damn. <laughs> top response, uh, top response to this is that's a stupid question, and I beg the difference. I think I, I think only, there's a solid discussion to be had here about why you humans are so afraid to die. Yeah, but, you humans, what's up with that? I'm oh. glad that Gabe, Gabe Kids 3 has come to join us right now. Yeah. <laughs> Gabe, 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 why are you already. humans so afraid to die? I'm just changing um, position. Yeah, I'm waiting for someone now. to goddamn answer that. I'm, I have no clue. <laughs> what, what, what are we answering? What? Ryan, by the way, human. So, I, what? so uh, I don't know what this is. Wonder Swifty just sent this art thread alternate realities. I click on it. It's by Stamper, and I haven't even <laughs> read any of the text. I'm just looking at this image. Yeah, and same I'm, here. Why? What? I'm quite stunned. <laughs> okay, I'm, all right, I'm checking this out. <laughs> what? God damn it. what oh, are I either of these it. things? Oh, is this supposed to be like the Brackenwood? Like, yeah, it's Brackenwood. Yeah. 2006. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, nice burps. On point today. Yeah, I mean, I, you're going to see what happens. Just, this is what I, listen to me, listen to me. I've never been this drunk from just two beers. I think it's because I didn't eat anything the entire day and then only had fucking these beers. That, that's Henry, exactly you're slowly why. turning. No, you're slowly turning into Simbarine. <laughs> Worry about it. Also, thank you for that uh, NSFW uh, fan art. You know, I'm no sure one's gonna, gonna no one's gonna see this when we have to. The the second response is Johnny Utah, and it's a salad fingers alternate reality where he's just like normal and he's eating a bowl of what appears to be salad fingers, and he says, "I must eat healthy." <laughs> he scrolled down a little bit. He scrolled down quite a bit, actually, near the bottom of this page. Quite a bit. It's an alien hominid whose penis is nearly the size of his entire body. And uh, he's, he's like, is that not normal? normal? I mean, if you include the height of the projectile, it is taller than him. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's almost as big as three out of our four penises. That's right. Fuck. Also, this tank man drawing by Johnny Utah, where he's just completely buff. Dude, I love the buff tank man. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> I like how many of these are like MS Paint mouse drawings. It's good stuff. I wish I had time to read what accompany these. Wait, so I'm a couple pages in. There's one by Pox Power that says, What if Cassandra from Pico's school was a video game character made to cater to young males in a post apocalyptic <laughs> future? And this is the most like 2006 Edgelord shit I've ever seen. All right, post it. <laughs> Share. Right, Share. Um, I uh, I don't condone it for the record. Wow. Oh damn. Is that a Marvel? Wow, oh, that's hot. I think that Uzi classic was Henry big. moments. I don't think that's how big an Uzi is. I mean, <laughs> listen, oh, Uzi Uzi new have you ever seen Pico's Uzi? <laughs> don't worry about it. That's because Pico's canonically half a foot tall. Bro, did you just say uh, Uzi? Like a uh, little Uzi vert? <laughs> You're banned, Ryan. <laughs> no. Why didn't no. you be... Why weren't you funny earlier? What the fuck? Oh, no. Here's, uh, here's one from a couple days ago. Um, and I, I feel like there's uh, some actual grounds here. So this person... This new grounds. So here's... Uh, <laughs> this person says... This is uh, Count Fuckula says... So which site will fuck up next and help us? And I'm not going <laughs> to like, you know, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, and now DeviantArt's doing some bullshit that people don't like. So uh, what website is going to fuck up next and bring more people to Newgrounds? And I see some people in this thread saying that, like, there aren't that many websites left that really yeah. came up. Like, the, 
the internet has kind of consolidated. Instagram? I don't know. I'd say like people from people from Twitter could possibly come if Twitter like uh, kicks yeah. up its goddamn uh, NSFW policies uh, and whatnot. Oh, also, uh, fucking uh, Deviant Art, I'd say, uh, has been. Mm. I, I, in my mind, Deviant Art is dead, but I know it's not really. <laughs> no, and the Art Station, well, that one. Yeah, that, that's on a different like, map, not even on yeah. the same planet. <laughs> Why is it that yeah. the only time that there's like mass migrations to new grounds is when some other website bans porn? And everybody's like, <laughs> back to where else planet. am I going to post it? The family. Where else, on, where else is where jerking off was invented? Yeah, that's another thing, sort of slight tangent, but whatever. Apparently on Twitter, they're planning, because you know, when you make tweets, uh, you know, me- everyone can reply. Apparently, Twitter is making a new feature where you can choose who can reply to your tweets. So it could be like everyone, it could be everyone that you follow or it could be everyone that you mentioned in the tweet. So you could basically just make echo chambers where it's like, you're only getting a select few people to reply and no one else. Okay, hear me out, Ryan. Twitter is already just an echo chamber. Twitter is dumb. That's like, yeah. that's pretty much- But you, now you're that. creating an even bigger echo chamber by only allowing select people. I could was this Nick. I can prevent Ryan from ruining my tweet. <laughs> oh no, no, that's the thing that no. that is the only upside. No, but no, but here's the catch. While you can make it so oh only select people can reply, anyone can quote tweet. So you're just gonna get a whole lot more quote tweets. And yeah. Well great, that means that more of them can be screenshotted and you know, posted to Reddit. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, because then like then others can just reply to the quote tweet and just <laughs> gives I it yeah. A while ago that was like the internet at this point is only like three websites and all three of them exactly are yeah of screenshots of the other two. Pretty much. What about um? And imagine if Newgrounds is like an OnlyFans style like. <laughs> Listen to me. My world is spinning. I've had beer. <laughs> Very good contribution, Henry. Thank you. Very, very good nice. Job. Wait, guys, will you let me do a reading from a forum post? Yep, let's do it. Yes. Guys. All right, hold up. I gotta get a little closer to the mic. I gotta be sultry. <clears throat> this is ever so strange. <laughs> this is ever so strange. Posted on January 24th, 2007. Jep, a few days ago, I changed my Xbox 360 controller battery, and yesterday again, I put tet it in and said, "Red, what the fuck?" Recharged it. Dot to net get anyway. Yep. What? And then, and then someone replied, "And neither do I." Here's, here's another thing I keep noticing about this. I have no clue what the fuck those two are talking about. <laughs> another thing I keep noticing about these 2007 threads as I'm scrolling through them. So, oh, uh, so Scarface in 2007. That's ska as in S K A, like you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like God, ska, yeah. like real big fish. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. Ninjas or pirates? It had to be done. If there was a mass extinction and only the world's 100 greatest ninjas and the world's 100 greatest <laughs> pirates left, who would get pwned? Listen to me. Oh. Fuck the pirates. Fuck the pirates. Death to the pirates. Listen to me. Yeah, pirates are fucking stealing my- asshole motherfuckers. <laughs> Sorry, what? So, so Scarface says pirates would win because the winner after a few days would be awarded as the most kick-ass group of dr- drunken bastards <laughs> Ever. <laughs> 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 fucking ninjas are hot shit. They fucking train all the pirates, pirates. Fucking lazy ass motherfuckers who rob. I was gonna say, uh, yeah. Okay, when thank the you, pirates. Ryan. No, when the pirates just dive scurvy. Fuck you, Ryan. So here's, here's the thing that I'm wondering. Here's the thing that I'm wondering. So this says if a mass extinction, okay, and the, only the world's 100 greatest ninjas and the world's 100 greatest pirates. Like, uh-huh. are we talking like? The hundred greatest ninjas that are alive right now, because like how many great ninjas are there right now? How many great pirates are there? I mean, I mean a pirate is just a thing. guy with a gun. So. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like it's you know, pretty like low bar for for good out, good out. Check if the yakuza is still a thing. No, it is. Oh, oh god. 
Like, mm. okay, so if ninjas and pirates were to fight off today, one, it, assuming ninjas still use the same things, the I don't know what they could do against like a hundred guys with guns. Is like, there like, a modern take on ninjas? Are there ninjas who use guns? Um, <laughs> I'm maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I don't What's know. What's idea? What what qualifies as a ninja anymore? Mm. Uh, well, I have a to be a ninja these days. Go to the mall, okay? <laughs> go to the yeah. mall. Just go to the um, GNC. They're probably stocking up on protein powder go so they can stay fit. Stand where there's always the neck beards and just pick up, you know, some swords. Yeah. Some like yeah. okay, okay, like brass knuckles. Mm. But there's like retractable blades. You know what I mean? No, let, let me right. turn this. Let me let me turn this into into terms that you mouth breathing weeaboos can understand. Uh, Naruto versus One Piece. <laughs> oh, I was God. gonna say uh, play Fortnite and yell at children. That's how you become ninja. Mm. <laughs> God damn it! On the topic of malls, how many CVSs are there? What? Uh, what? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I keep on hearing that, like, oh, it's like the same kind of stores in like every single mall. Can somebody save this podcast, please? Like, like, I've <laughs> never seen a CVS in a mall. I, I don't also, even know what that is. It's GMC? Like a, it's like a pharmacy. Yeah. I've never seen a CVS. All right. I found, a, I found one more uh, forum post. Yes, you share. All right. It's um, from 2017 called Are There Corpse Party Fans There? The reason why this one in particular is so special is because of the second post saying, yes, and the anime was freaking awesome by Static Skull. Now, you may look at this. Now, you may look at this and go, oh, okay, it's just a regular post. But no, what makes this special is that this is the last post Static Skull made before he got banned off of Newgrounds back oh, in 2017. Damn. Rest in peace. It, this is hit Newgrounds history right here. Just. <laughs> <God. laughs> ah. All right. And so, then it, uh, in, in here, I, I found another one. I found another one before we move on from uh, delving into the forums here. This is January 27th, 2007. The title is Most Embarrassing Thing You Have D. Oh. D. <laughs> and, uh, what yeah. have you, D? <laughs> Let me. Uh, I'm gonna share this. Here you go. All right. Most embarrassing thing you have, D. What's the most embarrassing thing you have done? One time at school, I said "fuck you" to the teacher, but then that bitch sent me to the office, and the principal called my mom. Sad face, and then in parentheses, I am so hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like the second post where it's like. One Tim, I was some guy said to me, Where gong? And I said, Lummy, and he laughed. Nice. I'll that sounds like new rounds, Graham. Yeah. I'll, I'll read the next yeah. one. I gave a girl a heart shaped rock when I was 14. I honestly thought she'd like it. And that's apparently from a deleted account, which is a thing. Okay, all right. <laughs> Next one, next one, is some guy responding to well, the second guy that didn't make any sense. He says, fuck off. When I was like seven or something, I left the house without putting my shorts on. So yeah, I must have been walking down the street in a t-shirt and boxers equals P. That ain't that bad. That person is badass. <laughs> I salute to that. Massive PP. I like their name, Random Mominator. Ra ra Random Mominator. He was Random the original... Mominator. The original Karen. I caught a falling girl and I accidentally let her fall. Her Asian friend, in parentheses, I like Asian babes. <laughs> listen to me, listen to me. No, no, no. No shit from me on Henry, that. Henry. <laughs> Now's not the time. You know, I don't, I don't think you caught the fainting girl if she hit the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Darkfire, January 27th, 2007, says, One time I pwned myself. Shit farts. <laughs> Dope. It happens, it happens. Until it's 2007, Jesus. It, it, it happens to everyone, all right? Sometimes you just pwn yourself and you just... Can someone, do a, good Duke, can someone do a good Duke Nukem voice and just well, read no. out the forum posts? Can somebody not do that? <laughs> 
And now, Spotlights. A new artist that came in from DeviantArt, I believe. They showed up, they started posting. Their stuff's cool. Here's a good one. Their name is stew for you One of the things got front page, but I like this drawing called 2018. Uh, it's fucking dope. I'm gonna follow this artist. That's some good shit. Beautiful. Okay, go. Uh, Goodell, do you have anything? Or... Okay, so... I, the only spotlight I have is not even a real spotlight. I just kind of want to briefly talk about the new Sublo and Tangy Mustard because oh. it's fantastic. It's excellent. Oh. Dude, the ants are so weirdly 3D in that. I love, <laughs> I it. love the ants. I love that. This episode is great because it's like, I think it's one of the first times where there's been an establishment of like several running jokes. You know what I mean? Like usually yeah. each episode is like fairly standalone, like not really related to the other episodes. But this one, not only like the central plot, but a lot of the like background jokes and everything are, are related to earlier episodes. Mm. So I think that's really cool. Also, something slightly off topic, but not off topic. Uh, apparently, yeah. Tucker and Birdie is getting a second season on Adult, yeah, so, on adult so little, Swim. Is yeah. that good? Have you have you not seen Tucker and Birdie? No. Dude, it was on excellent. Netflix. That's so good. Yeah. Uh, so, I'll watch so it today. Is, Netflix did one season. It's by it's by the same studio behind BoJack Horseman. And, oh, that makes sense. And Aaron Long's a director. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Aaron Long does directing and animating for it. He, I think he directed three episodes or something like that in the first season. He he did like animation in the uh, in the intro sequence and stuff. You know, the one with the buildings that have boobs for some reason. Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so Netflix did one season, and then because Netflix is some actual shit, they cancelled it. Because they didn't the want to union- because they weren't up for, like, a unioni unionizing yeah, like, it's, animation studio. It's, yeah. Oh boy, it's, somebody's it's, been yeah. re uh, reading Cartoon Brew. So, <laughs> no, it's just, yeah. Anyway, so, I'm very excited for it on Adult Swim. I think Yay! Bro, bro, I go, I follow Crimson Mayhem. I know Carter. <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> so this is also unrelated, and it's definitely gonna throw off the whole spotlights thing. But uh, I just recently watched, like over the last week, I watched uh, all three seasons of Mr. Pickles. I'd never seen it before. Oh no! Pickles. Oh is god! It I've, I've... Or great? No, because it's Mr. Excellent. Enter wouldn't shut up about it. Dude, it's it's very good, um, and it's very very Adult Swim. I, but yeah. I, watching it, I kept having these moments where like the the animation reminds me a lot of of uh, uh, Mark M, like sick animations. Um, okay. oh, oh yeah. And I have to wonder if any of those people are like Newgrounds people, like any of the people behind it. Oh my god! No, I you just like you just triggered. Hold on. No, <laughs> that remind me like. Alfred Alpha, like, I think Emily Yukis was, like, trying to pitch a show to Adult Swim or something like that. <laughs> and then it got beaten up by Mr. Henry, didn't you? But, and then it got beaten up by Mr. Pickles, right? What? 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 No, I have no clue what the fuck you're talking about. I don't think they'd ever consider oh. Alfred Alpha. Alfred Alpha, isn't it? Oh, no, I thought it was something like about, like, Emily Yukis making a show for Adult Swim, but then it got... What? No, uh, I've never heard of it. What? I thought she said something about it. No, I never said anything about this. I have no clue what you're talking what the about. Hell? Okay, well, it was either that or was it Hellbenders? I don't know. Probably I mean, Hellbenders. Mr. Pickles yeah. is also, like, not new. It's been around for... A yeah, I know. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but uh, fucking Alfred Alpha has been around since, like, what, 2006, 2005? I can't remember. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And it's, like, a weirdly similar concept about a dog that likes fucking dead bodies. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought I heard... You or someone Fuck else say it. Am I right? No, I did never say it. I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe the short term memory loss is kicking in, or the long term. I don't know. Emily, you interesting character. I don't know how you came up with that, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Guys, wait, wait, wait. It's a completely different topic. I'd just like to ask anyone uh, Has anyone here listened to uh, the Adult Swim pitch streams? No. I, I saw I, the one with Chutney Glaze, but that was it. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, I I saw that one, and I I I sort of uh, gave it a bit of a higher standard than it does. 
but I, I then watched a bunch of other of the pitch streams. They're absolute garbage. There's just a bunch of fucking uh, yeah. stoners there saying like, okay, I have a cartoon. It's about like, it's it's supposed to be really funny. The humor is supposed to be like this and like this. But, oh, I don't God. know. It's usually absolute, absolute trash. And there's like no effort put into it at all. I'm, I'm just waiting for the one day that some guy comes in and absolutely blows the goddamn show off the airs. Uh, they mm. get every every week. Uh, by the way, if you guys don't know, uh, Adult Swim gives away five hundred uh, dollars. Uh, I guess to three people. Uh, um, that like they divide it up. Um, uh, to like uh, help people develop their pilots or whatever or their show or their pitch. Uh, I think it's the the Adult Swim pitch meeting. It's uh, they do it live on their YouTube. Yeah, I thought they like buy the rights to the show though. Like if they, if they like your pitch, they just like. They like give you money yeah. and then take the show and it's like theirs. Yeah, yeah. Like I think I think it's a pitch development there. meeting. Like like mm -hmm. uh fucking like uh they give you five hundred bucks or, or I think they give you like three hundred bucks or something to develop it, like uh uh shoot a little pilot, test pilot, or uh, you know, commission some art, uh designs or whatnot, or I don't know, something mm -hmm. uh like that. But it was weird seeing Chutney on that, Chutney Glaze. Because yeah. it was just not what they usually had. Usually they get like fucking weird ass stoners who give them a strange fucking dumbass script or something and just expect to be handed a show or something, which is so strange. And then you have Chutney Glaze where it's like all like, like, like slapstick. Comes in with a fucking, yeah. He comes in with ninja. A exactly. That was, it, that was surreal watching them watch it. And then they wanted to watch more, but they knew that uh, Chutney Glaze would never run on uh, Adult Swim because it's just not not the adult swim brand yeah <laughs> but they, they gave him five they gave him the entire prize money uh so no oh, one else damn. got any cash uh yeah yeah they gave him 500 uh, bucks uh to develop mm. his his what show. new grounds like okay, series awesome. would you, do you think would work on adult swim if it will yeah i mean plenty of the established ones like starbarians definitely could be a yeah could be an adult swim show oh, yeah. salad finger salad fingers i could Rock see that right? yeah, yeah. That, that'd I mean, be definitely when you see it at like 3 a.m. and you're like way too tired to watch TV. You're like, what the yeah. fuck am I watching? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, okay. On that note, one time I was I like couldn't sleep. This was years ago. I was up in the middle of the night. It was it was probably like 3, 3 a.m., 3 30. And I like turned on the TV. And I so at the time I liked watching like Cartoon Network, like during the day. And I didn't really ever watch Adult Swim just because I usually like wasn't watching TV late at night. Um, but I wasn't doing anything else and I turned it on and literally the thing that was on was the weirdest shit I've ever seen. It was like a, like a face with like zombie face painting. And it was just like right up to the camera and like making these like horrible noises. Like, <laughs> what? Oh, oh. <laughs> I think that was oh. <laughs> shit out of me. I might've been, but fuck, it was the scariest shit I've ever seen. Was, and, uh, it, was it their oh, show called that? like off the air? No, it wasn't. I don't think it was off the air. I think it was just like a commercial, like a just like an Adult Swim, like a bumper, know, commercial. like a like a bumper, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it was, mm. but it fucking scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's funny as hell to me. I don't know if if Adult Swim just did that, just putting on random shit. Uh, well, they do. They do shit like that all the time. Oh yeah. Mm. Actually, do you know what would be kind of cool in Adult Swim? Like Captain Tardigrade. Yeah, yeah, that could that could definitely be on it. Yeah, story. especially like uh, yeah, it was by one of the guys who works at Titmouse, so like yeah. Glenda definitely it, could be in relation yeah. with Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, so Sublo and Tangy Mustard definitely. Oh yeah, Sublo, yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know about that. Sublo and especially Tangy if we're getting like, two Crow Birdie season two. Well, I feel like Sublo and Tangy Mustard has the same problem for Adult Swim that like that Chubby Glaze has, that it's just not like I, I hate to say it, but it's not like violent enough. <laughs> like a lot of adult <laughs> shows really hinge on the on the gory aspect that mm -hmm. like, it yeah, it's true. I, I mean, if you're getting Tucker and Birdie, humor, then I mean I would say that like Sublo and Tang Mustard's humor is like sophisticated, but I wouldn't call it like like adult humor. You know what I mean? I was gonna mm. say sophisticated. <laughs> I, I did it by the way, can anyone else confirm this? Did you notice the cum stain on uh the pants? Yes. Uh, yeah. Sophisticated <laughs> humor. Oh god. <laughs> I know okay, I, I was like what the hell? <laughs> but um but one more thing about adult swim when you said you're you watch some on like 3 a.m. I did the same thing one time and it stuck with me so hard. 
it was just a video of a lady telling you how to put underwear into a tree. I <laughs> it was it was one of their episodes of Off the Air. At least I think that's what it's called. And they just take random YouTube videos and put them on Adult Swim. There's just this old older lady putting like underwear into a tree hole, and I was like, "What?" And then it and what? then it cut to a uh, and then it cut to uh, that that animation where it's like the bunch of little clouds that are like, "Yay!" And one of them has a bleeding anus. That's the first time I My saw that. Anus <laughs> bleeding. Oh swim. God! No rejected. It was rejected. It yeah. Time. Henry, it's rejected by. I forgot who the guy was. Like, Damn it. I, I don't know what you're you're Reject it. No, no. That might All be. The... That, was, that was insane to me. Oh, God. No. Oh, Don Hertzfeld. That's, yeah. The my Yeah, the mind is bleeding. Yeah. Yeah, that's the video. Yeah. Uh, who said that in chat? It is how to weatherize a tree, Alan, tutorial. That's what it, they showed <laughs> on Adult Swim. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> Go look it up. I'll give you Alan, that. No Alan way. tutorial is incredible. If if y'all don't know about Alan tutorial, it's like a very <laughs> weird and interesting part of internet history. Mm. What about people don't people don't adult swim or that be too, you know, much? What what on adult swim? You know, people do the the show by Balak. Oh, people do. Yeah, I I'd, I'd like people to do. see that fucking like after I think. Uh, the age restrictions run off after a certain time at night. I'd love to see people do. Yeah, do you guys know what I'm talking about? That uh, French yeah, show. Super, uh, yeah. It was like uh, the titty cat, uh, doc, Dr. Cat. Dr. Or is their name Dr. Pussy? I, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. that. Yeah, I know what that is. I don't know. I, no, remember, I, the, remember the German episode where it's like they just. <laughs> no, Ryan, let's not remember that. <laughs> The only clip I've seen of that is just like the one where they're talking about STDs, and it's just like revolting. Oh, I was right. just like, "Oh, oh my I, god!" I love, I love that episode where they're like, "Fucking!" He breaks the costume that people do made for him, and people do is like, "Ah, do you know how long I spent on that?" And he's like, "Yeah, twenty minutes," and it really shows it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. God, that that show gets laughs out of me. I fucking love that it's uh, found a place in new ground. Yeah. Even if it's only a few episodes. Uh, are they uploading all of it uh, in English? Or maybe later, but from... I thought they just uploaded a few episodes to Newgrounds. I don't know. Well, I Anyways, uh, back back to Spotlights. <laughs> <laughs> back oh, to the Jesus. front page. <laughs> oh, back to the front so, page. All right, first off is Make Love and War by ClayKid12345. A really good first episode for a web two thing he's working on for, oh god, I think it was like for adults. No, no but it, in all honesty, it's actually a really good web two. I mean, like the animation, like even though the character designs are like fairly like you know simplistic, Maybe, yeah, you know the animation on it's like you know really like pretty good. The um, actual like like um, I like the voices uh, a lot. Yeah, the voice acting's really good. They got Kira Buckland. They got Rena Chan to voice one of the characters. I, I have no idea who any of those are, but the voices are fun. They're and they're clean. Yeah. Audio's good. I like it. Yeah, yeah. The writing's really good. It's just yeah. Overall, like yeah, solid first episode. Like if yeah. Fuck yeah! So, I look forward to more of that shit. Yeah. Um, quite, frankly. Oh, quite frankly, also one of the main characters is called Henry. So uh. Yeah, I actually unfollowed the Twitter account like a day before this came out because I was like, ah, the, yeah, this is this never came out because uh, I followed it fucking pretty sure like a year ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, it was yeah. a year ago. I think I remember like Tornado, the animation group that Clay Kid's in. I think I remember hearing about that back in like late 2018, I think. So, yeah. Whole time they're just waiting for Henry to unfollow them from the post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, right. don't worry about it. All right, next up is uh, just wait. Yeah, Valhalla Club by I'm just going to the page now. Uh, Valhalla <laughs> Club by by Weary was it Wearier. Uh, it's yeah, really well, decently well animated. Um, yeah, student film of just some guy who just. One student st film. Oh, Jesus. I want to go where he goes. Yeah, Fuck this him. is my thesis project. And yeah. 
Thailand yeah. University, it says. About it, 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 spoilers, it ends with a guy getting raped. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the actual yeah. like animation is like really well done, and the col- like the colors no, it are looks nice. like Ryan. It looks like RGP anims. It's so Shut uncanny. Up. It looks like <laughs> Ryan animated. Wait, can you it's post so- a picture? You screen cap just to prove. No, it? I can't. It's too far away. I can't okay. find it. Yeah, no, apparently looks, Henry looks Henry kept on saying that it looks like my style, and I'm like, it looks like aged up Ryan. This this is Ryan in like a few years. He'll be drawing <laughs> titties nonstop. It's just it's oh, not. No. I'm I'm slowly turning into an NSFW artist. No, no. Ryan has a second NSFW artist account. Don't worry about it. I know about it. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is another Tornado cartoon. I, wrong channel. Damn it. No, another <laughs> cartoon called Okachonka by Azoko Loco or Lolpai on Newgrounds. It's about two guys, two squares. And an alien comes to the town and it's like, yo, what the hell are you doing? Get out of our town, you idiot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, continue yeah. now. <laughs> God. Please, for the sake of Jesus, Ryan, continue. We cannot end this show. I messed this up. Back. I messed this up hard. Can we cut this out? <laughs> And that's Fuck the you, right? Show, you know, everybody. I need to type okay, this up. Over. <laughs> Does nobody get that fucking Looney Tunes reference? Nope, nobody's ever heard of Looney Tunes. No, no, Looney Tunes. Wait, no. What the fuck is a Looney Goodbye. Tunes? Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gabberfly. Long live Newgrounds.